I heard this word, this, this thought popped into my mind. Stop fighting this, you're a victim. This happened to your grandmother. It happened to your aunt. It happened to your father. And it's, it's generational. You're a victim. This is not your fault. Just stop fighting this. Uh, you can die and go to heaven. It'll be all right. Just stop fighting this. And can I tell you, Sean, for a moment, that brought me some peace. It brought me peace because all of a sudden I realized I am a victim. I'm a victim. I didn't ask for this. I didn't need this. I didn't want this. This happened to me, not my fault. It happened to me because of my family curse or whatever it might be. And for a moment, that thought that I'm a victim instead of a warrior brought me some peace. And then immediately, immediately, right on the heels of that thought, on the inside, I heard these words, that's not for me. And I immediately knew that that thought, trying to persuade me that I'm a victim, didn't come from God. Satan was tr changing his tactic on me. He was changing his tactic. And I said, I remember saying out of my mouth, I'm not a victim. I'm not a victim. I will defeat this thing in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when I said that, I felt myself going up. I literally, I remember thinking, oh, 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 like I was falling or going up in reverse. Gravity had lost its hold. I know now what Paul meant when he said, whether in the body or out of the body, I know not. God knoweth of a man caught up. I don't know if I went up in my body or was just my spirit. I just know I left my office. I felt myself going up. And when I did, next thing I realized I'm standing in heaven. And the Lord Jesus is there. And it's the same Jesus that walked in my room. And he uh, grabbed me and hugged me and shone when he did. It was love went through me. I've never experienced anything before that moment like that. And I've never experienced anything like that. He said, Eddie, I love you. And I said, I love you, Lord Jesus. And the colors there were just beyond brilliant. Um, the peace, people ask me, well, would you breathe oxygen? People in heaven live on love, God love. It went through my being. And then all of a sudden, he just started pulling away. And I said, and I knew I was going back. I knew I was going back. And I said, Lord, I don't want to go back. And he said, you've got to go back. And I said, I don't want to go back. I said it the second time. He said, you've got to go back for your wife and your little boy. And then he said the third time, but you've got to go back. I said, I don't want to go back the third time. He said, you've got to go back. And he pointed to a room to the side, and there looked like thousands of army cars empty army cots. And he said, if you don't go back, those will be full of people who's mentally become enslaved because they haven't heard the truth about their thought life. And then the next thing I knew, I'm coming back into my office and I'm on the floor. And that was years ago. And since then, uh, my mission, my journey has been to teach people how you can get free from anxiety and depression and you can take authority of your thought life.